Now today I want to investigate the tabbed interface. I can hear some of you saying in background, the tabbed what? Well a few versions ago Photoshop changed the way the images are displayed in the interface. Now for new users this can be a little bit less than pleasurable experience getting around it and at times a bit of a frustration until you get used to it. So by means of a helping hand here's how it works. Well here I've got seven images open and you can you can only see one and this is the beauty of the tabbed interface. So if I just go up here you can see I've got tabbed interface one. If I move over I've got tabbed interface two. So each of the images is in the little tab at the top and I can click on each one and bring them to the front so you can work on them. And there's a little X here and that will close down an image. So let's go back to one again. Now if you wanted to we could change the order in the tab and again this is a little bit fiddly till you get used to it but if I say I wanted to change the positions of um, image 2 and image 1 then what I'd do is I'd click on image 2 the tab and I'd just click and drag it and then let go and now I've moved it in the tab I've now got image 2 as the first one and image 1 as the second one now why I say it's a bit fiddly is because you've got to do it perfectly horizontally which well I well I can't do all the time but what you do is if I click on this and I, and I just go slightly off horizontal it pulls it out the tab and it's panic stations well what am I going to do now well it's easy all you've done is made it free floating if that happens all we do is we click and as we drag it back up you see a little blue line come all the round way around the interface and we let go and it's back into the tabbed interface again. Now if you've got more images than will fit on the screen open at the same time then you get a little double arrow up here at this side. You click on it and it brings a list up of all the images that are in the tab and you can just click on one to actually bring it to the front. Now there is a nice little keyboard shortcut for moving through the images that you've got open and that's control and tab. So if you just watch the interface at the top as I press control and tab I'm just cycling through each image one at a time. And if you have the shift key control shift and tab it'll tab you backwards through the images. So that's control tab to go forward and control shift and tab to go backwards. Now there are more options to this interface feature and if we go up to the window menu we've got a range and these be they. We've got ways that we can combine the images in the interface to view. And let's say we go for four up. Well what that does that places the four images to fill the interface. Now here you can see this little panel here it's got four images in it. And then it's put one image there, one image there, and one image there. Now the actual active image is the one that's highlighted. So if I click in this one, you can see that the highlight now shifts to this one. Now if I want to move around inside this image and pan around a little bit, if I hold the space bar down on the keyboard, I can click and drag. And then I can do it on it any one. So if I click on this one, make that active, space bar, I can click and drag. Now a cute little thing on here is that if I hold the shift key down and the space bar, when I drag, it drags them all together. Now isn't that cool? So if you had four images in here that you wanted to see different parts of and just move them all together, that is pretty cool. Now if you wanted different groupings, what you can do is you can drag images from this tab into that tab. So I could drag this image and dock it into there. And I could take another one of these, say interface or five, and I'll drag that and I'll drop it into this tab. So now I've got two in this tab and two in this tab and one in that tab and one in that tab. Now if this arrangement doesn't suit you and doesn't float your boat, then you can go back quickly to the tabbed interface. You don't have to drag each one back individually. And we can go to window and arrange and we can do consolidate all to tabs. 
and then they're all back in this tabbed interface for us again. Now, if you prefer not to have the tabbed interface, you can work in the way that Photoshop used to work a few editions ago. And we can go to Window and Arrange and we can do Float All in Windows. And what this will do is bring them out of the tab and put all the images in a separate window for you. I tend not to like working like that. I do like the tabbed interface, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to Arrange and Consolidate to Tabs. Now, something that causes a little bit of an issue is moving one image. If I was creating a montage, say, I could pick a base image. So let's say I'll pick that image. And then I may want to get one or more of these other images into that document to provide, to make, say, a montage. Well, what I've got to do, if I click on this image, and I'm going to put this one now into O5, tabbed interface O5. Now, I can't do it from the Layers panel. My I mean, Layers panel is not open, but I can't drag this from the Layers panel. It's got to be from here within the image. And I've got to have my Move tool. So I can either click on the Move tool or I can press V on the keyboard. And then I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this image. Now, what you've got to do is you can't drop it just yet. You've got to get up just over the tab that you're going to put it in and you wait till that image comes to the front like that. And then you've still got your finger on the mouse. Don't let go yet. We're going to drag it back and then we're going to let it go. And then we've still got the move tool so we can move it around. And these are about the same size. So I'll transform it with Control and T or Command and T if you're on a Mac. And I'll drag it down a little bit. I'm holding the shift key down, so I'm doing it in proportion. And I could put that in that corner, put it at a quirky angle and double click. I'll just see, show you that again. Let's try number four. So I'm going to go into the image. I'm going to click and drag it and drag it back and then let it go. And again, I'll transform it, make it a little bit smaller, holding the shift key down, position it, and then probably put that at a quirky angle as well. And then double click or click the tick. Well, that's it for this video. How to use the tabbed interface and the arrange command. I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video or share it with a friend or two. Don't forget to check out the more area under the video for the link to any download files or free ebooks. And please click the subscribe button so when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.